Welcome to Grading with Owl. First, close your eyes. You didn't close your eyes, so this is going to be exciting. We're going to be picturing grading, so close your eyes and imagine yourself grading. What are you doing? What's in your surroundings? What does it look like? Okay, you can open your eyes. Whether you've been a teaching assistant many times or you're looking forward to your first time, you can likely imagine some sort of picture of what grading looks like. Was it you sitting with a high pile of essays? Was it test answers? Was it listening to a performance and making notes or watching a presentation with a rubric in hand? Was it searching through a discussion forum or checking off that something's complete? Was it reading reflections and looking for depth of thought? What you picture as grading depends on your discipline and the course you're assigned to. If you haven't TA'd before, you might be picturing what you think your TAs might have been doing to mark your work in the past. What will grading look like online then? Just like traditional grading, grading online can look quite different for each of you. In this module, we're going to look at strategies for grading online that you can apply to your own unique grading situation. First though, Let's consider the purpose of grading. What are your values and priorities when you're grading? It's a good idea to think about these questions before you start considering the technical aspects of how you actually grade online. Click grading priorities to start the module and then work through the other modules to learn more about how OWL can be used to grade fairly, efficiently, and with feedback that helps students grow. After completing the modules, complete and submit a summary reflection.